day can't go by in Michael Fisher's life that someone doesn't mention the great storm. Well, there we were at home, watching the weather, listening to Michael Fish, believing and trusting every word that he says. You were in people's living rooms so often that they began to recognise you and put a bit of faith in your forecasts and things, I suppose. But most of the strong winds, incidentally, will be down over Spain and uh, across into France. Michael was just so confident that everything was going to be OK. I'm sure Fish regrets even mentioning this phone call. He only mentioned it as a joke. Good afternoon to you. Earlier on today, apparently, a woman rang the BBC and said she heard that there was a hurricane on the way. Well, if you're watching, don't worry, there isn't. Rubbish! I'm shouting at the telly at the time. No, it's there! I can see it, Michael. Really, I don't have any meteorological training, but there's a big storm behind you, just on your right shoulder, mate. Well, if you're watching, don't worry, there isn't. There isn't. There isn't. Worst gales in three centuries sweep through Britain. The next morning. Carnage! Bedlam! Trees uprooted, caravans flying through the sky. Power lines were down, all the telegraph poles. They came without warning in the early hours of the morning. Winds that hit 110 miles an hour and then went off the gauge. There was so much damage caused, especially over the south of the country, that it was just absolutely horrendous. There's flooding too in many areas, adding to the distress of thousands of people in the south of England. 15 million trees were gone. I mean, half the forestation in southern England was just gone overnight. There was no warning. The weathermen were caught with their forecast down. The Home Secretary has called a crisis meeting of ministers. Yes, I could see it being windy because there were bits of leaves and things, trees and things, but it, it didn't dawn on me until several hours after I'd been to work that something major had happened. Why weren't we warned? Didn't the weathermen know there was such a fierce storm on its way? I think the first two words most people were saying was Michael Fish, although they might have inserted another word in between those two. This was one dramatic scene near Bournemouth as early morning drivers were taken by surprise. And in nearby Highcliffe, 90 pensioners had to be evacuated when their roof was ripped clean away. Michael could say anything, and these grains would believe him, you know what I mean? These poor grains in bed without a care in the world. Wake up in the morning and thinking, oh, where's those stars come from? The roof had just blown off. Michael Fish must have been cringing with embarrassment when he saw what happened the next day. But I think he was also shaking with anger because everyone was saying he got it wrong. And he's like, no, it wasn't a hurricane. Well, for a start, the, the hurricane we're talking about in 87 wasn't a hurricane. You can never get hurricanes in this country. It's just simply impossible. Touch wood. He must have just wanted to curl up and hide away forever. I would not have wanted to be Michael Fish that day, or really any other day either. I'm looking at you, Fish, if you're watching this. And I'll find you, because my dad lost his shed through you. I did get fed up at the time, and until I retired, I got very fed up, because I couldn't answer for it. Many of us were not very keen to keep bringing it up. And I shall go to my grave with it probably on my tombstone.